Hello girls and boys, Pastor James here, and I came across this book in my office the other day. It's called The Pumpkin Patch Parable. It was written by Liz Curtis Higgs and it's illustrated by Nancy Munger. I wanted to share that story with you today, especially in light of the Halloween season. I'm sitting here with uh, this big orange ball and we're going to be talking about that in this book. See that big red barn and those rolling green fields? That's where the farmer lives, way out in the country. It's so far out, the streets don't even have stop signs. The farmer grows lots of different things in those fields. He grows tall green corn and big red tomatoes, long yellow squash and little green peas. People eat that stuff for dinner. The best vegetables the farmer grows are pumpkins. They start out as flat oval seeds, almost as big as raisins. One hot June day, soon after school let out, the farmer planted pumpkin seeds, just like he did every summer. The seeds disappeared into the ground in nice, neat rows and grew there in the dark all through the 4th of July. Early one morning, a tiny green shoot quietly poked its way out of the soil. Soon, a long green vine stretched across the ground. From that vine, little buds sprouted into wide green leaves. The leaves spread out flat to catch the August sun. Someday, those little green buds would turn into big orange pumpkins, but not yet. The patient farmer waited and waited. The pumpkins began to grow. How different they looked. Some were tall and lean, some were short and round, some had lumps and bumps. All of them were pumpkins. October came at last. The sky was bright blue and the air was cooler. Every night it got dark earlier than it did the night before. It was time for the farmer to harvest his pumpkin crop. The farmers, many workers, brought lots of ripe pumpkins in from the fields. Which one would he choose first? The farmer picked up one large pumpkin, being very careful not to let it slip through his hands. Pumpkins are tough on the outside, but break into smithereens if you drop them. He washed all the dirt holding on tight. Next came the messy part. Pumpkins are full of dozens of seeds and lots of slimy pulp. The farmer had a special plan for his chosen pumpkin, so the seeds and the slime had to go. He slowly slid a large knife right into the center of the pumpkin. The pumpkin didn't make a sound because vegetables don't talk. If they did talk, the pumpkin might have said, ouch. Gently, the farmer cut a round hole in the top of the pumpkin and pulled on the stem. Squishy, stringy pulp waited for him inside. Yuck! The farmer pulled out all the slimy pulp and wrapped it up in an old newspaper. Off to the compost pile it went, never to be seen again. Then something really exciting happened. The pumpkin got a new face. The farmer carved a triangle for each eye. Pumpkins have eyes that don't blink or turn away. They see everything. He neatly carved a little square for a nose and then a big wide smile. What happened next was wonderful. The farmer put a small white candle down inside the pumpkin and touched the wick with a flame. How the pumpkin glowed. As the sky grew darker, the pumpkin on the porch was shining brighter than ever. When people saw the smiling pumpkin, they smiled back. All the neighbors knew that once again, the farmer had turned a simple pumpkin into a simply glorious sight. In the same way, God the Father offers his children the chance to be made new, full of joy and full of light, shining like stars in a dark world. Isn't that amazing? And so this is like the pumpkin that was talked about in the story. And this is the lid that he popped off and he cleaned out the inside and got rid of all the yucky stuff. 
and then proceeded to make a pumpkin face with the eyes that never blink, the square nose and the wide smile. And at nighttime, when it gets darker, there'll be a light inside that will shine through that others might find a smile inside themselves. Isn't that a neat story, a great parable? I hope you share it with others, and I'll look forward to seeing you soon. Happy Halloween, and God bless you. Let us pray. Thank you, God, for all the messages, all the parables, all the stories that teach us of your love for us through Jesus Christ. Bless the children. Keep them safe on this Halloween so that they might be able to enjoy uh, one another and all your blessings that lie ahead into the future. For this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen.